Mm. Have you been to LinkedIn recently and seeing a lot of these animated or like, you know, um, moving diagrams and stuff? And you might be thinking, how will I do that? You know, um, how will I do that with my existing diagrams? So <clears throat> actually, it's very easy. Um, well, very, very simple as well. But you got to just make sure that you're using the right tool for it. So obviously, if you're using PowerPoint, you can just do this through animations and export it as a video, right? Uh, however, I found that there's an easier way. Um, and it just so happened that I'm already using this tool in the first place. So welcome to Draw.io. So I've been using Draw.io for a very long time now, more than a decade or so already. Um, been kind of like my go-to tool so when creating diagrams um, in most of the projects here and there. So um, I'll give an example, right? So this is a, um, a diagram that I'm working on at the moment uh, about you know production readiness using Databricks and Azure, right? And then the diagram is pretty nice already on its own. Um, however, we want to add some spark onto this um, diagram. It's, uh, it's actually pretty simple. So first off, uh, you have to make sure that in your um, view, you have to turn off. Um, you have to turn off the grid. Otherwise, when you do this later on, you, you'll have the grid out there. So make sure you turn that off, and then you also turn off the page view. Otherwise, you'll see the you know page um, alignment in there. So make sure just to remove those two. Okay. So here's the secret part, really. All you gotta do is that um, <clears throat> you see, you know, go to your style and then in the property, there's this thing called flow animation and just click onto that one. And when you click that, there you go. You have a, um, you know, a dash moving thingy happening in there already. See that? All right. So, yeah, there you go. Okay. Now let's just apply that to all of them. By the way, one um, caveat though is that this um, flow animation only works for lines. It doesn't work for, um, you know, like rectangles and stuff like that at the moment. Um, yeah, which is kind of like um, a bit disappointing, but yeah, that's just how it works at the moment. So there you go. Um, now you have this thing um, moving, then if you save that. Now, question is, how do I create, you know, an export of this? Well, let's try to find save as, but the problem is there's no, you know, um, GIF, GIF uh, version in here, no video file in here. So how would I do that? Well, the thing is, um, in order to do that, you actually have to use a, um, a separate software um, for that one. So for Windows, you have this thing called um, screen to GIF or screen to GIF, which basically is this guy here. And you have to just record the screen pretty much. So yeah, drag that um, thingy, you know, that window, and basically just point that out to you know your workspace in Draw I O. Okay. There you go. All right. Just make it. You know, capture the canvas that you want to capture, and you just press record. Um. But before I record, there's actually one thing I also want to add. Actually, it turns out you you can um add GIF within Draw I O. So for example, let me drag this thing in. So if I copy that, so this GIF, you know, which is the Playtime logo, uh, the company I work for at the moment. So um, yeah, like that basically is supported by Draw.io. So if you want any other moving stuff besides the diagrams, you can just import them, drag and drop them as, you know, all, all those GIFs or GIF. Um, now let's start recording, okay? All right, let's start recording, all right. Make sure you don't touch with your mouse within the canvas, otherwise you'll be seeing, you know, your your mouse cursor within that canvas. So make sure to avoid that. Okay, I think 30 seconds is more than enough. So stop that 
and then it's gonna appear with this you know like ba basically a GIF or a video for you know is basically just a bunch of images that's just running around and around you know like it just skips through time right and then GIF is basically just compiling all of these images into one video file or one you know special image file um, and you know do save as and you choose GIF um, it all supports mp4 and other kind of like file types but GIF is very <coughs> common and there you go wherever you want to save it let's say let's just save it there uh, yeah. there you go coding and let me just open that for you then um, I'll close this one yep exit then now let me just open the actual image and there you go now you have a moving you know fancy diagram over there uh, for um one good um thing to highlight as well is that you see that one there the the arc thingy happening there so if you want to do that as well there's this option in properties to you know when you do line jumps you can choose arc or gap or you know um, sharp or line but yeah arc is kind of like nice and fluid uh, as it kind of like shows that hey you're jumping across you know this separation so yeah that's pretty much it short video but yeah thanks very much for watching please like comment and subscribe uh, and let me know what you think thank you bye